Hi everyone, it is May 8, 2019. I hope that you are all doing well and uh, efforts to maintain your sanity are not draining you, exhausting you. This world has become so, uh, well, let's just say I feel as if I have been transported to another planet because this is unrecognizable. Cows, unsustainable meat industry well unsustainable so eat your maggots humans eat your maggots yes maggots for protein i will link below to everything and if you want to find out more details of the horror today click on the links below maggot sausages hey that sounds great meat industry is not sustainable and an overpopulated world they're still saying overpopulated world Oh my god. Well, the world's population has actually gone down. We've got the United Nations, the World Health Organization. Uh, their studies have shown, oh my god, there's a global fertility crisis. Well, well, that means less people are having babies. Less women are having babies. Uh, there's plenty of articles, mainstream media, saying, hey, we've got a fertility crisis here in the United States. I posted a video recently, more people are dying at younger ages here in the United States and less people are being born, which means population is going down. But they still, I don't know, they like to confuse us uh, and Americans are easily confused, I don't know. or. You no, know, you just go with whatever your confirmation bias, um, however that confirmation bias is directing you. God. Well, don't worry about the food crisis because there will always be insects, maggots. You just have to open your mind and your stomach to a much broader notion of food. Now, will the elite be eating maggots? I don't think so. And milk, yeah, well, again, cows, unsustainable. So, bioengineered milk is coming. That's right. New technology to produce real milk. New technology. And if you see how cows are treated in the milking process, from a moral standpoint, it's appalling to most people. It's appalling to me. Uh, agribusiness. Yeah, look, we can correct. We can self-correct and put some morality into our core. We don't have to bioengineer milk. Uh, but, well, not a lot of people want to uh, invest in that kind of, you know, work because, well, it doesn't produce dollars. It only produces a good human being. So, pfft. What's, what's, who cares about good human beings? So we've got corporate giants such as U.S.-based Dow DuPont. Chemical companies, great. B-A-S-F, Nestle, Nestle. Nestle is on par with Monsanto as an evil company. And they're coupling with these, uh, or partnering with these bioengineer startups to develop human milk, a complex hybrid. Great. Great. Fluoride. Okay, I want to read this. It's cute. Listen. Eight-year-old Molly Stat stood in the bathroom brushing her teeth, and something on the back of the large-sized tube of Crest caught her attention. She stopped brushing. Looking up at her father standing beside her, she motioned to the toothpaste and asked, Is this poison? Of course not, Paul Stat reassured his daughter. Then why does it say poison on it? She asked. Stat looked closer at the label on the back of the tube. In small print were warnings he hadn't noticed before, including one that read, if you accidentally swallow more than used for brushing, seek professional help or contact poison control. <sighs> fluoride. So the FDA adds a poison warning to fluoride toothpaste the CDC, the ADA, the American uh, Dental Association, uh, 
came out and stated, children, you're overdoing it on the toothpaste. Too much can cause dental fluorosis, yellowing of the teeth and weakening of the teeth. Oh, so this study, uh, nearly 40% of children ages three to six use more toothpaste than recommended by dental professionals. Don't use more than a pea size amount of toothpaste. So you have these warnings from the FDA, from the CDC, from the ADA, and then you get this in the, in, in the CNN, in the CNN, the lying network. Don't rinse after brushing and other tips for best dental health. This came out May 3rd. Uh, it completely contradicts the FDA, the CDC, the ADA, but the CNN, you know, the CIA network news, they want to make sure that you get as much toxic fluoride into your system. Use fluoride toothpaste. Fluoride replaces lost minerals in your teeth and also makes them stronger. Not, no, false, lie. And use, <laughs> yes. Here, maximum benefit. Use toothpaste with 1350 to 1500 parts per million. That's uh, the concentration of fluoride in parts per million to prevent tooth decay. Oh, this is the first time I'm hearing a specific parts per million of fluoride will prevent tooth decay. Is that listed on toothpaste products? I don't know. You know, on the labeling. Not all children's toothpaste are strong enough for them to gain maximum benefit. Oh boy, so <laughs> parents go out and buy that fluoride that strong has a lot of toxic fluoride in it for your children. Um, your dentist may prescribe higher strength fluoride toothpaste based on their assessment of your or your child's risk of tooth decay. They're pushing stronger amounts of fluoride and don't rinse. Once you brunch, uh, brushed, don't rinse your mouth with water or mouthwash. You're washing away the fluoride. We want you to get as much toxins into your system as possible. Oh my God. And it can be a difficult habit to break, but Americans, man, you're good at breaking habits, aren't you? No, you're really not. Uh, but you might want to start shopping around for that toothpaste that has the strongest, the most fluoride in it. Oh my God. How do you deal with this? How do you deal with these mainstream media outlets coming out in complete, a complete opposite direction from the FDA, the CDC, the ADA, and actually telling Americans, hey, do not rinse that fluoride <laughs> um, because we want you to get we want you to get as much fluoride into your system as possible. How do people reconcile the contradictions that we are presented with every single day? I don't know, but very concerning. All right, the Environmental Working Group has just uh, posted another study. I posted on um, the study that they did last year finding an awful lot of contamination in our water systems around the country, well, drinking water systems, they have posted their most recent study, March 2019, and found at least 610 locations in 43 states have toxic levels of PFAS, toxic fluorinated PFAS. And Michigan, sorry to say, you're number one. So these compounds, PFA, PFAS, they've just replaced the PFOA and the PFOS, which was phased out by the Environmental Protection Agency way back when, when it did a little bit of protection. Well, they just replaced it with the PFAS chemical compounds. 
uh, with just a slightly different chemical structure. And the PFAS chemicals pollute the blood of virtually all Americans, including newborn babies. They persist forever in the environment. And the PFAS compounds, it's a family of thousands of chemicals used in a wide array of consumer and industrial applications, nonstick cookware, waterproof clothing, grease-resistant food packaging, firefighting foam, and many more. Carcinogens. And leads to a lot of uh, medical issues, health problems. Michigan is the state with the most locations on the map, with 192. The state's PFAS contamination problem is severe. Michigan's environmental officials have estimated that more than 11,000 sites in the state may be contaminated. Whoa. Michigan, Michigan, Michigan. I will link below to this article. These once common chemicals are linked to cancer and a host of other ailments, and they may be tainting more than 11,000 sites around Michigan. Um, California, you got 47 known contamination sites, New Jersey, 43. But, but you know, understand that the Environmental Working Group, they, they don't have the resources to, to test every drinking water system in the country. Uh, this represents the testing of the water systems, the drinking water systems that they were able to test and found that a lot of them are just loaded. Um, site in the nation with the highest PFAS contamination is the now closed England Air Force Base in Alexandria. Is that Langley? I don't know. Um, Alexandria. Well, that's Delaware, isn't it? What's LA? I, oh, I don't know. The worst contamination of drinking water, Algoma Township. Algoma Township, Michigan. The environmental working group analysis of unreleased EPA test data estimated that more than 1,500 drinking water systems serving up to 110 million Americans may be contaminated with PFS, PFAS chemicals. Okay, Michigan Nights, you might want to read this. This is the article on environmental working groups site. Here's an interactive map for you. And well, Montana, you seem to be in the clear. Doesn't necessarily mean that you're in the clear. It just means that uh, each individual, your wells need to be tested. Your tap water needs to be tested. So when I see South Carolina, and I live in Anderson, and Simpsonville, which is very close by, um, Also, if you click on the actual dot, they will give you the uh, information needed for that site. So d does that mean Anderson's water system is free and clear? No. No. It's, it's, it's also contaminated. You know it. When you come into an area and you hear that no one drinks the tap water, um, and many don't even cook with it or use coffee. Well, now I don't cook with this tap water. I don't, my coffee, uh-uh, don't use the tap water because the tap water would leave such residue behind in the coffee pot. Um, there are times when I have to step back when I turn on the tap water because it smells. It's loaded with chlorine. We know that it's loaded with fluoride. So, yeah, our water systems are poisoned, and this is just part of the agenda. 
but I will link below also to this um, page that I did a search on and came up with, uh, and it gives you articles on public health warning issued to for fluoride toothpaste, thyroid, thyroid deficiency linked to iodine deficiency in fluorinated water. Uh, gives information about how great that fluoride is, you know, how great it is. CNN wanting to make sure that you don't rinse it out. Any of it, we want you to get more and more and more of it into your system. Yeah, all links up below.